Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Is this the end of Linux Mint? No! No. <laughs> all right, so uh, what is all this uh, alleged clickbait worth? And by the way, it's not clickbait because we're talking about this subject. Um, clickbait isn't an interesting and provocative title. Clickbait means I'm bringing you in, but I'm giving you something else. And uh, this was basically a title of an article uh, because in the next release, so Ubuntu just hit the new LTS, the um, 2304 LTS, and as part of that announcement, Ubuntu Cinnamon is now an official flavor, an official remix. And so you can actually get this. And so um, this gentleman at Beta News um, comes out with an article saying, Ubuntu Cinnamon becomes an official flavor, making Linux Mint obsolete. And um, the first comment of this article uh, basically says it, or is it the second one? I don't know. They, they talk about, yeah, that's not going nowhere. Um, great title, though, for clickbait. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and read through the article, talk about what's going on here, and uh, look at all of the different uh, odds and ends. So Linux Mint is a fairly popular operating system, but why do so many people use that Ubuntu-based distribution? People tell you for different reasons. The reality is many Ubuntu users are just not comfortable with the default desktop environment. Because Unity and now GNOME are so radically different from the traditional Windows interface, some people flocked to Linux Mint and its familiar Cinnamon desktop. Mate and XFCE are Mint desktop options too, but make no mistake, Cinnamon is the crown jewel of the distro. Sure, there are other nice aspects of Linux Mint, but ultimately, its familiarity with former Windows users is what makes COS very attractive to many. All right, so I'll say first and foremost, I sympathize with this viewpoint because I do like the Windows layout now. I have learned how to use a variety of different desktop environments, and what I have found is maybe the Windows layout was so long what the Windows layout was because it's very good and versatile, but maybe not for the absolute <clears throat> brand new latest and greatest users more used to touchpads because I can see people relying more on touch board, uh, touch pads, uh, touch screens and keyboards using GNOME more. I can understand that. But for me, I use a combination of mouse and keyboard. And with that, the cinnamon desktop or a traditional windows like desktop is for me more important than something like GNOME. And so with that being said, I sympathize with this viewpoint, but is that why so many people are using it? That is a very good question. Now, he goes on, unfortunately for the Linux Mint developers, their operating system has essentially become obsolete. You see, as of today, Ubuntu Cinnamon has become an official flavor. Why should anyone use the Ubuntu-based Linux Mint with Cinnamon when they can now just use the official Ubuntu Cinnamon instead? The efforts of the Linux Mint developers are simply unnecessary at this point. <laughs> I... Who is this? I, I, I'm sorry if I'm sorry if this guy is very widely popular in the uh, Linux or tech world. I have no earthly idea, but frankly, uh, this is a really, really, really bad take. Um, of course, um, uh, here is the official announcement from Ubuntu Cinnamon. Uh, status Ubuntu Cinnamon flavor is now a part of the Ubuntu flavor. Here is the Ubuntu Cinnamon flavor status from the lists.ubuntu.com. So as of March 28th, um, the uh, Ubuntu team says, Hey Joshua, I'm happy to inform you that per the technical board votes as seen and confirmed in today's TB meetings, Ubuntu Cinnamon has become an official flavor. Particularly amazing where I believe, unless I'm wrong, I think Joshua is, what, 15, 16 years old? Um, they gave him a very young um, um, lead developer, um, if that is true. Um, and he actually says in here, um, Ubuntu Cinnamon started as a small idea in my head in 2019. I was 11. That is awesome. That is really awesome. Um, and so uh, I... I like this idea, and I have looked at Ubuntu Cinnamon in the past, and I'm going to look at it officially when the new Ubuntus drop. So uh, that's going to be, what, later on this month, I believe. 
um, when those official ones drop. I had something there, sorry. Um, so I'm going to have a look at it. Now, in the past, I've looked at it, and I thought it was okay. I didn't care for the color scheme. Uh, that was maybe two, three versions ago, so I'm sure things have changed a lot. Uh, they did praise him for a lot of things. Uh, one of those is just being really up-to-date and fast on getting new changes out. The other one of those changes is... Um, uh, the other one of those changes is that uh, uh, he always has uh, backported wallpapers uh, to match both the current Ubuntu and to also match the um, the cinnamon uh, flavor. So they really liked a lot of those types of things. And uh, so congratulations on Ubuntu Cinnamon being a new official flavor. That is good news. I like that. Is that the end of Linux Mint? Uh, Linux Mint? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, here is a, a question. This is from four years ago, mostly out of date. Linux for noobs on Reddit. What is the difference between running Mint with Cinnamon versus Ubuntu with Cinnamon? And you know, as they explain a few things in here, back at this time there was a different. There were different levels attached to the different upgrades, and so it wouldn't update a core thing as frequently or as aggressively as it would update uh, just a basic security fetch in a minor package to prevent things because of stability. A lot of that has changed in the, the current layouts. Of course, I had a Linux Mint computer just blow up. Um, that wasn't as much to do with a faulty update as um, not enough room in the boot drive to support another Linux header, and the apt auto remove was not working for whatever reason. Uh, so we are actually testing out on that laptop. We're testing out if the auto remove function inside of the Linux Mint uh, upgrade manager solves that problem or not keeps that space cleared up but we were able to get that fixed and resolved and um, that was that um, they also mentioned in the here things like Nemo is probably going to be a lot better uh, integrated into the system as rather than Ubuntu versions of it and um, you know some other people meant some things uh, data collection in Ubuntu um, which is something that Linux Mint has generally taken a strong stance against and of course the biggest um, issue since then has been snaps with Ubuntu going with a really big snap push versus um, uh, Linux Mint going with the flat pack push uh, so much so that Ubuntu and the current version, the brand new version, completely removes flat packs entirely and Linux Mint blocks snaps. Now, here's why that's important if you do not understand the difference. Snaps themselves are controversial. About half of the Linux community loves snaps and has no problem. About half of the community completely hates them and there's very little in between. The reason is while snaps are an open source platform, they are distributed only and exclusively through a single point proprietary form, meaning it's more open to an attack, tain, uh, attack chain attack. Um, it is more a uh, supply chain attack, excuse me. Uh, secondly, it is more open to tinkering from the company. Third, it is more controlled by the company. Now, Ubuntu itself is more controversial lately because Ubuntu itself is becoming very corporate. In fact, it has been corporate for a long time. You have to understand, half of the people switch to Linux because they are sick and tired of corporate nonsense. The other half of the Linux community uh, switch to it because, hey, it's a development platform that works and that a lot of the internet is used on. And so Ubuntu itself, is, for these reasons, is dropping in popularity like a rock. Now, of course, the distro watch uh, positions don't actually mean a ton, but it is uh, what these are based on is people coming to the site, how many pings go towards looking at this distro versus that distro. And so it's a rough idea of what people are saying. When I first started in Linux, you know, a decade-ish ago, Ubuntu was always near the top. You'll notice it's falling in the rankings. It's number seven right now and not a lot of excitement, especially with the fact that betas just released. A bunch of Ubuntu betas just dropped and Ubuntu is still not going anywhere on the listings. Usually when a beta drops, boom, it causes immediate excitement. We don't see that because it would appear, at least on this surface, not as many people care as they used to. What are ranking higher? Fedora, Pop! OS on another Ubuntu base, Manjaro, Linux Mint. Look at this. Linux Mint has nearly twice as many hits on DistroWatch as does Ubuntu. 
So it's fair to say Linux Mint is not going anywhere soon. So let's point out a few different fun things in this article seems to miss. Number one, without the Linux Mint team, there is no um, Ubuntu Cinnamon Respin. Who makes Cinnamon? <gasps> the Linux Mint team makes Cinnamon, of course. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, with that being said though, uh, with that being said though, um, th with the Linux mint team making cinnamon, that is what it's, uh, that is the, the distro that does it best. Looking at how cinnamon is integrated and used with different desktops. Sure. You can install cinnamon on a variety of different Linux distributions, but the one it always works best on is Linux mint. So if you're going there for a really good streamlined view, Linux Mint is always going to be better than Ubuntu. If you do not like the snaps, Linux Mint is still going to be your case. Let's not talk about the other great things Linux Mint team does, like Warpinator, which has completely taken over a lot of the Linux-based file sharing system. All that stuff, the network-based file sharing platforms inside of Warpinator that is now being used on a lot of different systems, Linux Mint team. So all of these are things that, that um, make Linux Mint a better distro. Not to mention several more tools, a lot smaller distros, a lot more streamlined uh, layouts, and a lot more focus on privacy rather than being a big corporate shell. So there are a lot of reasons Linux Mint is not going anywhere. And uh, it, it is kind of interesting to see that some people think this, and I have no idea why, because uh, if you said this five years ago when Ubuntu was still one of the top Linux distros people used unilaterally, we might have at least a small bit of an argument to stand on. But in the current view where Ubuntu is losing more and more and more favor uh, among Linux users, people switching to Linux, things like that, there is no threat to Linux Mint here at all. Now, is that a bad thing? No, I think the Ubuntu Cinnamon um, having being an official flavor is awesome because it means that Ubuntu is bringing on a lot more, um, a lot more distributions, like a lot more uh, flavors, desktop environments, and more desktop environments on the core platforms are great because if you love Snaps and you love the Ubuntu community, you now have another official option for Cinnamon if that's your desktop of choice. I completely support that at all. And as soon as these uh, guys drop, I will have a look at uh, the Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon and uh, if the developer would like to jump on a stream and do that, uh, that would be Joshua. If you'd like to jump on the stream and do that, or reach out to me. Uh, we'll hook something up and see if we can't get you on the stream to talk about it. Um, with that being said, though, um, <laughs> that is fun, silly news. Um, Ubuntu Cinnamon becomes an official flavor, making Linux Mint obsolete. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not even close. This is a bad take. And fortunately, if you go through the 91 comments... This dude gets roasted. He gets roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. Um, if you get what that reference is from, let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.